back to another video on my channel. My name is Winston and I ride a KTM Duke. Today is a weekend and it's time for another ride as usual. Today's ride is to a place called Ognekal which is about 175 kilometers from Bangalore. The weather is just amazing, it's beautiful, it's cloudy, it's foggy and it's a rider's paradise. We are right now at the hotel A to B. Uh, just stopped for breakfast. This is basically our meetup point. But I'm hungry at the moment. We're just gonna get in, uh, have a quick breakfast, and then get on to Ognekal. So let's get in, check what's there for breakfast, and then I will talk to you guys once I'm on the road. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're back to another video, thank you very much for tuning in. We are basically the first ones at the hotel. We had to wait a couple of minutes so they can open up the restaurant for us. If you are heading to Ognekal, I would highly recommend this hotel for its tasty food and hygiene. Well, hi hurry, what's for breakfast today? When you can't decide what you want to eat for breakfast, this is what you order. A little bit of everything. Alright. So today is once again a huge group and we have a lot of bikes with us. We've got KTMs, Harleys, a lot of Royal Enfields, the Honda CBR, me on my Duke, Aries Himalayan, another KTM, a Domino, a Royal Enfield which looks like a Harley and a Pulsar. Today we've also got an extreme off-roader, the mighty Jeep. We just left after a light but wonderful breakfast. It's always important to have a good breakfast because you never know when your next meal will be on rides like these. There are multiple ways of going to Ognekal, but today we've chosen the most scenic road which is the Denkini Kote road. I've heard this road is pretty neat, so we are hoping to reach Ognekal pretty early. For all those people who've been stuck at home since the pandemic and are dying to go out, but are concerned about the virus, well, there's always an option. You don't need to really go out to a place. Just get on your bike, pick a nice beautiful road, leave home as early as you can, enjoy the view the world has to offer. You can enjoy the early morning fog, the green fields of the village side, the beautiful sunrise and the enjoyment of riding a bike. After a couple of hours of riding your bike, just get back home. Do this at least once in every two weeks and your life will definitely change. We are now coming up to a check post where we need to pay an entry fee. There was a fee of 20 rupees per bike that we all had to pay to cross the check post into Tamil Nadu. We are now deep into the forest reserve and it's said there are a lot of wild animals in here. So stopping in the middle of this area is definitely not advisable and always ensure to keep an eye on the road. This road runs parallel to the Kaveri river. So if you are one of those people who want to avoid crowds, just go off the road, find a river bank and spend some good quality time and then head back home. We have finally reached the main area of Ognekal which has a marketplace which then leads to the river. You can park your vehicles here 
However, the safest place to park is around half a kilometer behind in the main bus stand. At the moment, I'm just riding to see how far we can actually go and to see if it is a safe place to park the bike. We are now at the main fish market where you can buy food which is already prepared and as you can see you have a lot of options available. However, we are now going to buy fresh fish which can be prepared by the cooks and delivered to us on an island. So let's go buy some fish. So you can buy fresh fish from one of these vendors and the cooks will have them cleaned and cooked and delivered to your location. This is the place where you need to pick up a life jacket which definitely hasn't been washed in over a hundred years. So either get your own life jacket or be prepared to use what's available. We are all set and ready to get into our little boats, which you see all around. The government price for a ride is set at about 750 rupees per boat, in which three members are allowed. We are now finally in the boat and on our way. We actually paid a little more than 750 rupees, so we can get a complete ride, where we will be taken to an island where we get to spend a few minutes followed by a few waterfalls. Organical boatman Amsuraj. Huh. Uh, boatman mu, uh. guide uh. rooms, ab rooms available, uh. Uh, food arrangement, Tamil uh, uh, boating, uh. campfire, uh. guest house, all of them. If you come here, you can call me. Okay. Uh. Boating, all of them are ready. Organical food. Food, meat, all of them are ready. Hi guys! Oh! oh. Not having fun. <laughs> Who's having fun? Are you having fun? <laughs> we spent a few minutes at an island. They call Ognekal Falls the Niagara Falls of India. It might not be as big or magnificent as the Niagara, but it's a lot of fun. There are three waterfalls right next to each other and you can get close and personal by requesting the boatman. Come 
டாக்டர் பார்த்தியா சுத்தி நிற்கிறாரு We have finally reached the end of our ride. These steps will now lead us to another island where our lunch awaits us. This is another island which is almost like a private island where you can relax and enjoy nature or get into it and have some fun. It isn't too deep so it's safe to get in. Make sure you get your swim bear because once you get here you are sure to take a dip. It has taken us almost 3 hours to get to this island from the time we started our boat ride and it's been a lot of fun. I did not imagine it would have been so much fun this morning when I started my ride. The food that we ordered this morning is ready and will be dropped off to us in just a few minutes. I am now ready to jump into the water before the food comes in. I have had a lot of fun today and I hope you have too. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and also check out my other videos in which I travel to wonderful places around me. This is me signing off for today.